Phil Taylor, 129 in the tournament for Barney, 136, and it's Mensa Sulevich with the highest tournament checkout so far of 157. Let's go back then to our match commentators, Mark Webster and Vassas Alexander. Looking at Phil Taylor smiling on stage, on the big stage. You simply struggle to believe him when he says he won't miss it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, I thought he'd just sort of unwind a little bit. I didn't think he'd actually retire next year, just because obviously his ranking will hold him in every event next year. That's how good he is. But he seems adamant that he's going to obviously withdraw his membership and not be a, a PNC player next year. Surely he'll miss the big games, in particular against Raymond van Barneveld, because they've just created the biggest rivalry in the sport of darts. 60. Amazing to think that they first played 27 years ago, in 1990. While Chris Waddle was missing that penalty, 60. these two were on the hockey playing each other. I bet back then they didn't think it'd have the rivalry would have this much longevity in it. And that between them they'd have 21 world titles. I wonder how many darts they've thrown between them. Yeah, you wouldn't. Oh, you wouldn't even want to hazard a guess, would you? Surely. Forty-four. Raymond, you require one hundred and thirty-six. It'd be interesting back in the days when there was pairs competitions if they ever played as a team. It'd be a formidable outfit, surely. Sixteen. You'd be gutted if you were drawn against them. I would at this stage of my career, but starting out, I think if I just got drawn against him, it would be a massive buzz. 60. Roman, you require 76. So to hold his throw, Barney. Under no pressure. Double A. Game yes. shown in the 11th leg. Raymond Batman. Good finish. Just what Raymond needed, really. Top just he didn't want to come out there and have a, another Game break of throw against him, because it, it's a long way back from there. But a, you know, a comfortable holder throw, 14 darts, lovely. He'd have been telling himself that in the break, just hold the first leg, get himself sort of within one. one but he has to start attacking the Phil Taylor throw with a bit more, to be a bit more prolific. He's just not really had a, a sniff just yet. When you are starting out and you play the big names, even if you get beaten up, do you still enjoy it? 90. Yeah, I, I did, but then as you go along, you want that scalp, and I think. Um, you start taking the scalps and then you get greedy, you want to beat the bigger names, and that's how you sort of establish yourself in the game, but you've got to look at that enjoyment factor Good when you start ball. out of playing these big names and learning from them. Barney's 50 now, Taylor 57. One. You cannot be serious. They can't. This is where Raymond needs to put the big score in now. He hasn't made any inroads on the Phil Taylor throw. He's got, he's got a chance here now. It's a perfect first start. Loads of room. Back into the right. This is the chance. He's going to get six starts at 130 as well. 59. He's yet to have a dart and a double to break the power's throw. That's going to change in this leg. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Big 18 now. Perfect visit again, Rig. Uh, last six starts have set, him, set himself up beautifully in this leg. All he can do is apply some pressure, and that's exactly what he is doing. <laughs> With his third maximum of the match, but Barney, a double 16 away from breaking back and levelling this group match. Oh, he's missed them. Pressure applied from Phil there. The 180 just does make you think that, you know, the roar of the crowd just puts you under a bit of pressure, and he, he made it awkward with, those, with the last start then. 
That was very sloppy. Only one dart at a double now for Taylor. And he's missed it. So, another chance. Barnabel. He's focusing himself there. Over pitch there. Ray would have been kicking himself in. Through those six darts, the 180 laid up the 130 perfectly. And six darts late, he hasn't closed out the leg. We were, we were just talking about how he's not really made any inroads on the Phil Taylor throw. That was a dream opportunity for him. Well, was that the leg that ultimately will decide this match? to put it out of his mind. A good sign is that Raymond sometimes can shake his head and his body language can give a lot of weight. He's, he seems confident, he seems relaxed. He doesn't, even after that leg then, he didn't, you know, he's obviously disappointed, but he wasn't shaking his head. Playing very fluently. They both are. Three ton 40s to start this leg. As if he's loving it. And very little bungling on the hockey. There's another turn 40. Good last start from Raymond there. It's not wanting to leave the 1 2 1, he's leaving the 1 16, so if one triple will give him a start, a double. Raymond, you require 116. He'll go the 20s route, he likes the double 18. He's missed 16, which would have left tops. 84. But no hand, no hand done with Phil on 163. Just a bit of lack of concentration by both the guys this last leg. I think Phil missed a big number in the last leg. Raymond doing it there. It doesn't seem there's going to be any harm done. Three at 32. 17. Where did he require 32? And he missed it three times in the last leg. Game so show. Break a throw. But to hold this throw, <laughs> no problem. 14th leg, field and throw first. Keep. Big leg for Raymond there, because he did well to just get rid of the disappointment of that leg, which he really should have won. And again, now he's just going to have a go on the third Taylor throw. Mind you, if Phil keeps throwing like that, he can try all he likes to break the throw. He touched on it. Phil will want to get himself down in nine darts, close out in 12, and it, it's, it's putting Raymond in a position where only nine darts will do against the throw. Steady again from Taylor. Remember, Barney had five darts to break Phil's throw and level the match at six all. Missed them all. That could prove to be the pivotal leg, but he, he's still got time. He wants to, he needs to keep Phil away from nine because once Phil gets on that ninth leg, you know, you're at the point of no return. Finally about to try and apply some pressure. He's got to break at some stage. Big nine now. 89. Good set up there from Phil. And Raymond well back. Fifty-nine. So Don't double sixteen once again 32. for Phil Taylor to hold his throw for the seventh time in this match. Yes, the double eight will do it. Phil Taylor, fifteenth leg, Raymond a throw first. Still very solid on his throw there. Looks like he's learned from the, the previous throw, throw where Raymond had those chances. He'll just be saying to himself now, no panic against the Raymond throw. He's just got to hold his throw twice. He's home and hosed. 14 legs, just one break. And that 
does the Taylor cause the power of good. If he can break again here... Well, I ran out Fulton. Well, there'd be no-one in this Motor Point Arena backing against him, closing out the match. No, yeah, it doesn't matter that the nine dart is off. He will just be thinking about the match nine context. Seven. The luxury of this second break of throw as well, giving him two opportunities if he needs him to throw out the match. Good last dart from Barney, but it doesn't leave a finish. So six darts from 2-2-2 two, two, two for Taylor. One good last dart from Phil. 1-2-2 two, two I think is always a, a good finish. You know, you can pepper the same target, you'll go for four 18s on the bullseye, there's no switching around. And if Phil lays the dart underneath the triple 18, he'll, he'll be confident of hitting it. 22. Well, that missed by a long way. Big 18 leaves tops. 82. Raymond, you require one. Massive pressure on Raymond to hit this now. You, you feel it's, this has to go. And it won't go. go. 65. Taylor here with a chance at double top for a double break and a 9-6 lead. There it is. Phil Phil to throw first. Will that be the leg that breaks the spirit of Raymond? He must be haunted by that. I think it was the 12th leg where he had the opportunity to get back level. His body language isn't great, is it, at the moment, Barney? No, he looks disappointed, but he needs to just keep his head up. He's, he's won his first game, and it's, his fate is still technically in his own hands. Not in this match, it isn't. Not with Taylor throwing ton 80s for fun. No treble on that visit. Barney breathes again, but needs a ton 40 at least. Yeah, minimum ton 40. It, it's it's demoralised as well when you know you're on the brink of defeat and your opponent's thrown for the match. They, you hear the big 180 call, and it, you know it's, it's it's had its effect on Raymond there. He's you know, he's thrown a sloppy score there. Phil just needs to stay steady now and close out this match. 19. Switch down to leave himself on a finish of 164. Be just like him to win the match with a 164. Yeah, yeah, I think he'll go for it as well. Just want to set it up now. Stay on the 20 just to leave the 24 or the triple to leave 64. 60. Raymond so far back though, there's no real alarm bells. Will he beat Michael Van Gerwen in his first ever match at the Champions League? But Raymond Van Barnevelt on the brink of defeat despite that maximum. Phil Taylor needs 12 and double top for the match. Raymond, you require 100. Reprieve for Raymond. He looked a bit fed up, even though he hit a 180 on his last throw there, as if where have they been? But he's got a chance now, 17. Double top to keep his match alive. And still, he hasn't broken the Taylor throw. This is for the match for Phil Taylor. No mistake. Win number 58 against Raymond Van Barneveld. It was close, it was tight. Barney had chances to level at six apiece, but when he missed them, you just knew what was coming next. You just knew that Phil Taylor would not need asking twice. Taylor 10, Barnabelle 6.